What's up with you? I'm we're working on part number eight, page seventy-one. Um so let's have a look. I'm you know I like to add as much material as possible and then start taking it away. I see a simple circle, a simple um rod. I don't know if rod's the right word, but a, a shaft essentially or cylinder. And then I see this um, this boss here. So let's do that. I'm going to go new. A new part. Um, let's go for millimeters. Sketch. Front plane. Now what size of a circle is it? It's um, radius 40, diameter 80 by 80 by 80. Lovely. Diameter 80. I'm wondering. I'm going to do some. In this example, I'm going to do some shared sketches. Instead of doing this simple, I'm going to I'm going to try and make my sketches as complicated as possible. Well, I'm going to I'm going to put a lot of geometry on the same sketches. You can do it either way. It really depends on your style. Um, this is going to be, it depends on what sort of mood I'm in. If, if my brain is tired, I'm going to keep my sketches very simple. Um, what's this inner one? The inner one is, oh my God, 22.5. It's 45, isn't it? Diameter 45. Yeah. We'll get another one going. Forty-five. Okay. See that this is gonna be a pain, but anyway, um, I exit out of that, and I want to make this eighty, but we're gonna go the other way. And there's the right plane. That's where we're gonna put that boss on. I'm going to create a sketch on here. I'm on this. I'm on the right plane. I'm just going to draw this circle in up here somewhere. I'm going to get myself a center line. Right. Um. Forty-two point five. And twenty. And what size is this circle? It's uh, 12.5 times 2, 25. Diameter 25. Now, um, somebody, I'm going to draw down this, this, uh, what, what would you call this? Um, just, just bear, let me, let, I can't multitask. It's been a pain there, hold on. My students always ask me, they say, what, what is this dimension of the line? What's the, the distance from there to there? Or what is the distance from there to there? Um, how do I explain this in English? We want this shape to, we want this to be extruded 60. We want it to wrap around the cylinder. So what I do, and I'm definitely, if you can explain this better in the comments, I'm all ears. What we want to do is, if I make this, if I make this line really, really high, like I'll leave it there. I'm going to just leave it right there. And I exit out, and I'm going to go extrude cut. And I have to, I'm going to select both regions. I'm going to go mid plane. Of 60. Okay. It, I mean, my, we we're very close actually. Um, do you see I have this? Let, I'm going to have to even make it a bit smaller. Hold on. Now, 
Now, do you see it's not wrapping the way this this is 60 from here to here the way it's supposed to be, but it's not completely wrapping around the the, the cylinder. We just need to make um I don't know if there's a mathematical explanation, but now we don't need that. Let's bring that down. We just need to make sure that this um is more than it needs to be. I, I, I that's the best I can do. And look, if you want to be a good drafter, let's just let's just give it a number so that it's fully defined. All right. And now it wraps around the circle like it's supposed to. I, I made that way too complicated. Um. All right. What's next? We have we have that. Let's um get this forty five degree cut. So am I go? I'm gonna do it on the right plane again. And I'm able to get that. If you cannot select that edge, click the face and just go convert. All oh, right, okay, it doesn't let you do it. All right, well, come on. It, it allows me to do it there, so I'm going to go here. Now, is it from the center? It comes up 40. So don't lock it into the center. Anywhere but the cent that center point. And from here to here, okay? Now, from that line, that point... Let's try this again. Can I turn off the shadows? Uh, yeah, it's it's telling me that there's a curve here. I like that. Now, I I'm having a hard time select that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get myself a look. There's a, a quite a few different ways. A center line and bring it all the way down, and then boom. Now I have that now I have a line there I can use. Now what we want, we want this to be 40. Aye, oh, look at this. Now can I bring this up? No, this is not good. Hold on. Um I run into this trouble a fair bit. Um I'm going to trim this. And I'm gonna go. Can I click on that face and go convert entities? No. Can I click on that face? It does not have a peripheral loop. Um, this is embarrassing. I'm going to click the edge. That edge there and go convert entities. And it lets me do it. Well, that's good. And now I have access to that point. I'm going to click that edge and go for construction. And then I'm going to go from there to there. And make that 40 and then from here to here and then uh, 45 okay when well, and now I have my triangle okay and I'm going to um, through all both cut that out like so um okay what's next let's get um this diameter 60 and let's bring it in 40. so what i need to do is go back to this sketch and i'm going to go this and this and we'll bring it in 40 like so um and then we'll get the 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 22.5 extrude a cut through all okay so now i have that um what's next we have a countersink on one side of this boss and a threaded on the other side. What what this thing is actually doing, it's acting like a clamp, really. When you see a cylinder like this and a gap, and there's on one side there's um, a, 
a through hole and the other side there's a threaded when you put a screw in this and you tighten that down that screw it's going to grab that thread and it's going to start closing that gap as long as this is not too thick okay if this is too thick it's not going to pull it's going to strip the threads so what we need to do is we need to get that gap of three in there this is a kind of a clamping system and it's pretty useful so i'm going to create a sketch on here and i'm going to draw an L rectangle with and let's get this this line here and uh, we'll make a three but we've got to make these two lines symmetrical across it I, I, we don't really care about where those two lines end you know if you want to be anal um and it can be a good thing when you want to do engineering um but you, too much of it's a bad thing you can do stuff like that if this thing if this thing changes in height it's still going to cut it out um but those blue lines could float where they are and i'm going to go through all and now we have our our cutout i'm pretty sure that's what i wanted okay and then let's let's while we're at it let's just do this um slot or whatever the hell it's called um radius 5 10 so where hopefully you realize that we don't want to make a plane at the bottom but it would work but it's better if we can just use this top plane you see that top plane there draw it on there and burst it down use these front top and right planes that's what they're there for um even though it might not be it, it might not be obvious okay so let's get this old circle in first okay radius 5 we'll get a diameter of 10 um, and a diameter of 10 and then from here to here is 10 there like that so what are we going to do that looks good I know I know I'm going fast I'm bringing I have to go at 9 30 to bring the dog to the vet he's he's coughing or something he's uh I don't know what's up with him so I have to bring him to the vet at 9 30 so I'm kind of hustling now um I don't so we got that um the radius five the ten um whatever you do if you ever get a pet get pet insurance so they're, they're expensive m8 on one side and an m8 tapped on the other side right i click the face i go to hall wizard we don't want a counter bore we want a counter sink we want m8 up to next positions i click i click the edge of the 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 circle it's got it's all it's, it's 90 five percent always going to be concentric with that edge okay so now we have a nice countersink there for a screw to go through but we need the thread i click the face i click hall wizard um threaded is it m81 m8 oh look at that cheeky m8 by 1.25 cheeky uh, okay positions click the edge um is that fully defined yeah it's black now hold on a second um that might have what this is 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 called A near side countersink and what they do is they will tap it and they will create the threads and then they'll come in with a little 
countersink bit and they will just kiss the part what this allows it allows the screw to come in and it guides it in if you look at this drawing here if we're going to be anal about it you can see that there's it's actually on the other side um so it would be a far side countersink um now that'd be hard to that'd be hard to machine but anyway that's how it was done in the drawing and i'll go okay if you forget that don't worry about it now i think that's everything on that part it's a nice it's a nice little part um that's it that's part number eight part number nine is a piece of cake part number ten uh, it's no trouble either all right um look keep plugging away um you don't want to be sitting at home playing video games for the whole couple of months of quarantine you probably want to you probably should try and motivate a little bit and try and keep busy you know at least hopefully these lessons are helping you i'll talk to you later